So we have a story problem here. Um, to get a general idea, first off, finding a parametric equation that models the motion of the ball as a function of time. It's going to be um, x is equal to 3. And uh, y is going to be equal to negative 16 t squared plus 50t plus 6, and I'll explain that. x can actually be anything in this case. It, it really doesn't matter um, because it's, this is just a ball going straight up and down like this. All right, so this, <clears throat> this portion here, this is gravity. This is the integral of gravity. Don't worry about that because uh, gravity falls, if you convert it to feet per second, it's like 32.17. We just rounded it off to 32, and then you integrate that. You end up with, well, 32x, that's or t, that's how many seconds. It's uh, 16 t squared, but don't worry about what I just said. That's why we have this here. And then 50 feet per second times t, that's the initial takeoff there. And then from a height of 6 feet, next... When is the ball at its maximum height? Um, what you'll do is you'll just find on a graph um, where it's highest. So in this case, for part, uh, um, excuse me, for <laughs> that's for part C. For part B, it's in the air, um, 3.24 seconds. That's uh, the larger of the two numbers that you get when you plug this into a quadratic equation. And then, um, you write this down. So this is negative 16t squared plus 50t plus 6. How long in the air? 3.24 seconds. Uh, when is the ball at its maximum height? Um, it's at it's at its maximum height at 1.5625 seconds, and at 45.0625 feet. And I can go ahead and do that by, uh, it's kind of cheap of me to do this, but <laughs> I'm going to use some calculus here so I don't have to use a calculator. Uh, you could graph this and find out where it hits its peak, but you could also just take the derivative, which is negative 32t plus 50 equals 0. Solve for t, so you get t is equal to 50 divided by 32. Um, and that would give you 1.5625 seconds. And then... Um, uh, you plug that re result into the original equation, you'll get 45.0625 feet. All right, so the final portion here. Um, uh, well, I can't do that because I don't have a graphing calculator. Okay, that's it.